everybody? Huh? Good. 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 Tonight on Color TV, how you doing Mr. Twinkie? I'm alright Toth, what's up? Uh, not too much, how about with yourself? Uh, well I got a couple things going on, I'm leaving for Mexico after the show. Fantastic. And uh, I'll tell you more about that, I'm disturbed there are no women out in the audience. Oh there's one. Oh, there's one. But that's it. Everyone clapped. Hmm. <laughs> All right, and a couple things. Oh, Mr. Twinkie also opened his brand new bowling alley, the Twinkle Ramble. Yes, Twinko that's Ram right. So we've erected a monument. It's in Melrose like Park. Like bowling. Yeah. Go bowling whenever you need to bowl, and uh, we also have uh, a lot of fine assortments of gloves and uh, rosins. <laughs> so feel free. Hi, Bill. Oh, hi. <laughs> Tonight on Color TV, making his debut performance on television. You seen, might have seen him in many nightclubs around the area, including, I don't know the name. I didn't write him down. Joey DeCarian and the Mechanical Hip of Lust. Give him a warm welcome. He's going to be coming out here later and doing a tune with his brand new band, the Mechanical Hip of Lust. We also have, from the Children's Theater of Western Springs, Nathaniel Orr Deppner. Nod is his name. And Jenny Dre from the theater. And they're going to be coming out next after this break. All right, I'm getting real tired of that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, they're going to be coming out here in a minute to give us a little chat about what they're all about. So we're going to take a break. We're going to come back with some more Kala TV. <laughs> Pretty, Bill. <laughs> Thank you. Seated to my, hey, shut up. Seated to my right is Nathaniel. How's it going, Jim? Real good. And Jenny, how are you? Fine. Nice to meet you both, huh? Yeah. Great. How's the Children's Theater of Western Springs? It's going all right. Going all right? <clears throat> Pretty first, good. First year as a high school student. First year as a high school student? I've been there for six years, though. <clears throat> You've been in high school for six years? No, well. Like looking in the windows? No. <laughs> You know what goes on in there? It's fun, huh? Yeah, it's all right. I've been there four years. This is my third year in high school. It's pretty fun. And you guys, are the, these year mentions are your children's theater of Western Springs years? And year school. six and year four? Yeah. So is it, what, what's it like out there? What do you guys do? Do you like do plays and stuff? Um, once in a while we do, do a play. We have four plays a year and we have to try out for certain parts. Uh, I don't know, what else do we mean? There's class every week for about two hours. We work on scenes, and at the end of the year, there's a showcase of all the scenes that everyone has been working on. We work on improvisation, auditioning skills, and stuff like that. Cool. So it's kind of like getting prepared for, is this what, kind of what you guys want to do in the future? I'd, I'd like to. I mean, it's kind of a tough business, but I'd want to take the risk. That's good. What are they, huh? What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't they stupid? Yeah, they're kind of low. Fools. What's wrong? Fools. So you're in the new LT play, right? Yep, coming what's, up. What's Gr that called? Grim Brothers Fairy Brokerage, written by a senior, uh, Eric. I, I can't recall his last name, but I'll tell you as soon as I know. Okay. Is that gonna like come back? Like, are you in that mem mega memory shuffle mode? Just a memory Eric. lapse. Eric. Eric. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And Jenny, how about you? What have you been doing lately? Um, I was in two plays at the Children's Theater. Then I was in Cinderella for Temple Players. They're mm -hmm. an organization. They're based in Oak Brook Terrace, I think. I think. We're having a big memory problem, but that's okay. Because who needs to know that kind of stuff, mm, you know? Right, exactly. 
So now the Spring Festival plays, that's coming up, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. whole bunch of uh, scenes. scenes. And that's what you were talking right. about before, like the improv and stuff like right. that? Right, right. And you're going to be, and you're both going to be involved in that, right? Everyone right. in the high school class is yeah. involved in. There's everyone in the whole theater is involved. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like a big deal. Right. Is there going to be any pyrotechnics or any explosions, lighting? Flash pots, you mean? <laughs> sure. Explosions. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Not really. Explosions. Oh. How you doing tonight, Mr. Twinkie? Can you pass a toast? <laughs> <laughs> That's a neato cap. Where'd you get that? Uh, well, I bought it at a... Oh, my God! <laughs> Don't worry, it's only somebody falling from the lighting grid. Jerry Lewis over there? <laughs> <laughs> so, the hat... Tries to upstage me, I'll show him. Ah, uh, what? The hat. Oh, yeah, I got it. I'm getting ready to go to Mexico. Fantastic. What I want to, uh... Ask, thank you. I want to ask uh, Elizabeth Vargas. You know, I'm in love with Elizabeth Vargas now. And I want to ask her to go to Mexico with me. Cancun. Really? Mm-hmm. Now, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Vargas, the newscaster. Right, on Channel 2. <laughs> and you think she's going to go with you? Well, uh, you know, I do have the hat. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, the hat. All girls go with guys with hats. Right. So, uh, hey, I'm thinking hey. of, yeah. Sure, Bill, whatever. <laughs> Why don't you guys go together? Hey, by the way, Mr. Twinkie. Yeah. My good friends Nathaniel and Jenny are sitting over here left out of the conversation. How are you? I'm Great. doing all right. Not too enthusiastic, but that's okay. Yeah. I like <laughs> So uh, you're with the uh, Western Springs Children's Theater, right? Sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there any way, uh, you know, I've been wanting to do a version of To Kill a Mockingbird <laughs> on stage Not. with me as Boo Radley? <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Maybe not. Oh, nothing funny about that. Just uh. the name Boo Radley. <laughs> Boo Radley. Oh, did you guys ever see that movie? No. Like, did you have to read the book? Read the book, yeah. yeah. When you see the movie and he's hiding behind the door, it's got to be the best scene in cinema history. <laughs> boop. I just wanted him to say boop, but onward and upward. So these guys are doing the spring festival. Play. And what, do you know the dates on that yet, or is that not? Uh, Sometime probably in the end It's of spring. around May 13th. Yes. Around May 13th. So be looking for the Coming up. spring festival. Are you going to be interested in going to that with me, Mr. Twinkie? Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Uh, you know, I'm real busy uh, with the bowling alley and all, and... Uh, Going to Mexico and you know a lot of stuff going on, so uh, I'll try and see what I can do though. And good luck. Great, thank you, sir. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's break a leg. He doesn't have any though. Oh. But, <laughs> but we do. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Well, I <laughs> can't wait to see that one. All right, talk to you guys later. All right, Mr. Twinkie. See you later. Have a good night. Yeah. Arriba. So that was our friend. Oh, what Mr. a guy. Twinkie. What a guy. Do you guys like Mr. Twinkie or not? Awesome. I, I dig the hat. My hero. Dig the hat. You didn't want to shoot him full of holes or anything? No. Like he, a pistol? He could use large caliber He could use my hat, though. It's nifty. Where'd you get that? Uh, on the streets of Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of those guys. I got for four bucks. This guy was That's where my parents found me on the streets. Really? I was like an infant. How much did they pay for you? That was, I was found. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> um, well, I think we're going to take a break now. It was great having you guys out. Cool. Come Thanks on a again lot. sometime. Thanks a lot. Good luck to you. Good luck with your future. Yeah. 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 We're going to be back with Johnny or Joey Dicarian. Or Dicaria. for staying tuned. Yeah. Thank you for staying. All right. Okay. Yeah. Someone call uh, ambulance. Shut up. Um, <laughs> thanks for staying tuned over that commercial break. Right now with us tonight is Mr. Joey Dicarian. Yeah. How you doing tonight, Mr. Dicarian? 
seem, Very good. Seem to have some fans out tonight. Well, uh, I do play all over uh, the south suburban, north suburban area, and I'm sure a lot of a lot of people get out to see me every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Big fans, all right. Mr. DeCarian, you're here tonight with your uh, band, the... Uh, the Mechanical uh, Hip of Lust. Fan that sounds kind of uh, racy. Well, uh, you know, we, we play a lot of bars. We play a lot of uh, clubs. So I think that you have to uh, be in tune with sure. what people are, are into. And uh, Mechanical, it came up, one of the members of the band came up with a Rusty Nails. He plays drums. <laughs> That's his name. Rusty Nails. His parents had a bit of a sense of humor, and <laughs> his last name was Nails, and they named him Rusty. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. DeCarry. Can I call you Joey? That's just so Call me Joey if you'd like, sure. Um, what, now, what format, genre of music are you guys involved in? Well, we like to play a little of everything. Uh, you know, um, I my, myself am a big fan of Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett and all of them. And, um, but you know, a lot of audiences are looking for something a little different. And so we do a lot of uh, rock songs and we do a lot of more contemporary music also, along with the standards. Do you do any Zeppelin? We, we had one Led Zeppelin song in the uh, uh, list. But the guitarist, he, he broke his fingers playing it. <laughs> it's a funny story. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just remind me of someone I once met. I bet you hear that all the time, though, being a big Well, you're yeah, right. I'm seen by a lot of people. And uh, <clears throat> you know, I get stopped on the street or in the uh, market. <laughs> I don't uh, really know what's funny about the word market, <laughs> but I go, I do my shopping at the, like the A and P and stuff. And people stop me. They tell me they love my music. They love my stage show. And uh, that's, I, I love, I love people. <laughs> <clears throat> now, ten, I'm trying to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. Tonight on the show, now that you're out, you, you brought your band. You guys are going to do a song. What song exactly are you going to be doing tonight? Well, first of all, Jim, I'd like to say I have a message that I, I want to tell people. Um, and that's make toast, not war. There have been a lot of wars in the history of the world. And um, it, please, if you could. And I believe that the toaster, this here we have a four. We're getting one of these here at the studio pretty soon. A toaster? Yeah. <laughs> Do you eat toast? Or? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, you know, like I say, making toast, first of all, takes a lot of time. And um, it's a peaceful process. Every peaceful man in the world, Alek Valesa, <laughs> Mikhail Gorbachev, and the likes who, who preach peace have a toaster. So here we have a four prong toaster. Four banger. A four banger. As, as we call them in the business. And um, I want to give this to one of these people. Great. I believe. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to come up with some kind of trivia question. So if you could. Well, I have a type of toast, type of bread in my head that I'm thinking of right now. Anybody because guess? I think about toast all of the time. And let me just say, please, okay, if, if you'll let me, um, the toaster <laughs> is a beautiful thing. It is an instrument of peace. It's more of a monument okay. of peace. Do you see what I'm trying to say? How, how peaceful and how normal the world can be with, if they would just take the time to take bread, put it in these slim little holes, and make toast. It's all real simple. And, and let, let's go now to the audience because we're well right. Out I have a I'm sorry. I have a piece of bread in my head, and if you can, you will win this instrument of peace. You will. I will give this to you, and you can have it on your counter and look proudly at it. That you're trying to anybody, help world peace. Anybody? Yeah. Pumpernickel. No. <laughs> rye bread. Rye bread. Is that? I heard rye bread. That's <laughs> young man, you just won this toaster. Come on up here, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. 
<laughs> well, sorry. I... <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, young man. Mr. It's okay. You can, somebody will clean it up. <laughs> I can take it. Well, I guess uh, the toaster probably won't. I'm sorry. Are, are you going to be okay? It's okay. We've made peace, though, haven't we? Now that all remains are these crumbs of peace. Well, well we're really sorry. Um, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to come back with Mr. DeCarian and his band. I'm really sorry about that again. I hope you can forgive me. And we're going to come back. Bill, want to take us out here? We're going to come back with uh, more Color TV. Hello and thank you very much. My name is Joey DeCarian and behind me are the mechanical hips of lust. Thank you, gentlemen. Tonight I'm going to do a song dedicated to the men and women of Desert Storm. You may find that funny. I find war a serious thing. But the song's called, We Are the Champions. Paid my dues. Time after time, I've done my sentence, but committed no crime. And bad mistakes, I've made a few. I've had my share of sand kicked in my face, but I've come of the world Taking my bows My curtain calls You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it And I thank you all But it's been no better Thank you very much. As I said, my name is Joey DeCarian, and these are the mechanical hips of lust. And that song goes out to every man and woman, Desert Storm. And of course, to the late Freddie Mercury. You are the champion, Freddie. I want you all to know I'll be playing out in Mundelein next week at the watering hole. I'll be there for three weeks. And I'll be doing all of my hits, such as Queen and maybe some others that maybe you might like.
of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, and I'd like to introduce my band. On keyboards, we have Wolfgang Carmen Pansarelli. Is that in memory to, to Joey, to Carrion? Uh-huh. Twinkie, what'd you think of him, huh? Well, you know, I do like the lounge singer. Could have done it better myself, but Treat uh, it. it was all right. And uh, how about everything else? Did the show go OK? I mean, were you? Well, yeah, I was, uh, I'm packing down. A lot of stuff to, you know, in the suitcases and stuff. Uh, getting ready to go down to Mexico, Mexico. Go down there and, uh, you know, have a few drinks, margaritas. Hopefully, uh, Elizabeth will get my message, and I call her Elizabeth, you know. Taco Bell Grande. Right. <laughs> and so Bonito. I'm getting all ready. What? Tote, do you want to go down there with me? If uh, no, I can't. I got a, I got a bunch of stuff I got to take care of. Got to take the uh, cans to be recycled, and well, I was gonna go to Guatemala, but uh, I was gonna go to L.A., but whoo. <laughs> so those are two places you don't want to go right now. <laughs> really? Really? But Travel tips from Twinkie. Fantastic. Well, we're beating this show right into the ground. All right, Mr. Big Wig? The way I like it. I bet you do. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, we're going to do another show in uh, a week or so, and then you can come again and watch it. But, Billy, say goodbye. <laughs>